how CBD and THC are similar and different in less than 60 seconds, or maybe longer. Let's go. THC and CBD are easily the two most common cannabinoids that we hear about and see in the industry today. They're both produced by the cannabis plant, specifically in the glandular trichomes in the unfertilized female flower. And nowadays, more so THC than CBD. And actually, they're always produced in the acidic form first. Only once they're decarboxylated is when we can feel the high. Only at least for THC. Because they come from the plant, they're termed phytocannabinoids. Whereas endocannabinoids are the cannabinoid-like molecules that we produce endogenously to interact with our endocannabinoid system, which is for another video. Let's take a look at CBD and THC structures. They contain the same number of carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen atoms. The molecular formula is C21H30O2, and they both weigh the same at 314 grams per mole. And as we can see, they almost look identical. However, there is that one difference. If we take a look here, we can see that THC contains an oxygen creating an ether is bound within the cyclical ring. However, in CBD, there's a hydroxyl group. Oddly enough, this is the difference between getting high and not getting high. And this is likely why CBD has a broader spectrum of therapeutic effects compared to THC. So it's more like a tiny big difference, you know what I'm saying? So like we kind of hinted to just now, THC is the main intoxicating psychoactive component of cannabis. It has this effect on us because it binds to the orthosteric site or the active site of the CB1 receptor. It's what's known as a weak partial agonist. On the other hand, although CBD is psychoactive, it is non-intoxicating. CBD being psychoactive just means that it modulates our nervous system. And yes, it also interacts with the CB1 receptor, but not in the way that THC does. CBD is what's known as a negative allosteric modulator. CBD binds to another area on the receptor called the allosteric site. This causes a conformational change in the CB1 receptor, which then kicks THC out. CBD interacts with a variety of other receptors in our body too, also a part of the endocannabinoid system, which again, we'll touch on later. What's more, when you combine CBD and THC, it decreases the psychoactivity or any of the unwanted side effects that come along with THC, while enhancing some of the benefits. And when you use products that have a CBD to THC ratio of two or greater, the chance of you getting high is very slim to none while still experiencing the benefits of cannabis. It's a beautiful thing. Sometimes subtle is better. One way to look at it is like CBD and THC are like yin and yang, Another way to look at it is THC is the gas pedal and CBD is the brake pedal. And technically, if you have your feet on both, you're not going anywhere. Regardless, however you want to look at it, they do balance each other out. In addition to CBD's effects on the CB1 receptor, it also increases our natural production of our own endocannabinoids called anandamide and 2-AG. I guess CBD likes to maintain homeostasis. So does that mean THC is just for us to get high? No. THC has its own host of therapeutic benefits, and we're going to discuss all of these and CBDs in a more detailed video shortly. Anyway, I hope this helped. I hope you're looking forward to the next video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.